Today, we dissect Christian Yellick's swing. If you're into this, keep watching. So welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to dissect Christian Yellick's swing, the NL MVP of 2018. I'm excited to share with you what I know so that you can next level your baseball game. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, if you watch to the end, I have some great tips for you so the, and drills that you can do so you can start getting those results like Christian Yelich, okay? All right, guys. Thank you. Let's get right into it. First thing I want you to see here is how early and slow he is with this load. This is important. You need your own rhythm as a hitter to be a great hitter to be a good hitter you need your own rhythm um, the reason why is because the pitcher is trying to break your rhythm is trying to uh, get you off balance so by you having your own rhythm you're in control so you can make great decisions Christian Yelich does this very well as you can see right here look I mean I know this is in slow motion but he's slow with his load the second thing I want you to see here is how he sits in his back leg or sits on his back leg right here in this position he's sitting on it you'll see wrinkles right here in the back hip that means that you are in that back leg and that you know and have all the power sitting right there and if you look on the other side of his jersey you'll see wrinkles on that side as well that means he's in that back leg in that back hill and he's balanced okay you want that you want to be sitting in that back leg um the third thing you'll see is the knob of the bat points to the catcher jim tomey talks a lot about that um and what this does is also activates that scalps and that and creates that rubber band effect and what you'll see here is that he stays behind the ball i mean look at his head is moving a little bit, but it's only like three inches. Um, it's not moving too much. So, and, and what's great about that is because if your head is moving a lot, what's going to happen is your eyes are going to move. So the ball's going to move. So you're not going to be consistent. He's only moving a little bit. So he keeps himself consistent all the time because he can see the ball very, very well. So you want to stay behind the ball and you don't want to be jumping out to the ball because again if you jump wherever you where your head goes your eyes goes obviously and it'll you know move the ball so he's so consistent because he doesn't move his head that much and on the swing the back hip and his top hand he is a master at the top hand getting on plane with the ball and uh, he, he just can really repeat his swing he just repeats 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 um i think this is something that's crucial if you want to be a great hitter um you need the swing that's repeatable um and he does this as far as number six head on the ball look at right now his head is directly on the ball and boom he keeps it there and he didn't lift up early he keeps his head there on contact that's going to keep him being uh, it's going to keep him consistent because he's seeing the ball off the bat and he's not spinning off the ball. OK, so you want to keep your head there on contact. He does this exceptionally well. So what drills can you do to, you know, help you get the results and hit like Christian Yellow? So first thing I would say is do the jazzy drill and what the jazzy drill is. It allows you to find your rhythm. I see so many young hitters, what they do is they're, a, they're, they're set, go, instead of ready, set, go, as you can see right here. As you can see right here, look how slow he is. That's what you want. You want you to find your rhythm, and by having the jazzy or classy drill, whatever one I use classy for the most of the time, but what classy is it's classical music or you can use jazz music and what you're going to do is you're going to put this music on while you're hitting and you're trying to sync yourself with that so you're finding yourself by being slow and syncing um yourself with the music it's just you're going to find your natural 
rhythm and we do this inside the clubhouse we do this inside the cage we'll have this music going on and you just try to sink yourself slow your body down because in the game you're going to go a little bit faster but you don't want to be fast all the time and then you're going to be faster in the game so that'll make you inconsistent so if you're slow then you find yourself in the game your natural um you know your natural rhythm will come out in that game and it'll allow you to be more successful so sitting on that back leg what you could do is the bounce drill and you'll have a partner a coach or you know your dad and what you'll be hitting and what they're going to do is they're going to bounce the ball to you and you're going to hit and if you jump forward or you know if you if you especially if you move your body forward or whatever you're going to um, miss this bar you're going to have weak contact so it allows you to sit on that back leg and then you hit okay this is very important and i i think you should definitely do it if you're trying to you know get into your power the third thing knob of the bat points to the catcher you could use a mirror hold the bat in the mirror um look at yourself see if you're you know when you're loading where is the knob of your bat so as far as four five and six what you can do is use your top hand and it it, it helps you in all facets. and let me explain so barry bonds came to the marlins was hired by the marlins and to work with the team and he really worked with yelich stanton and nozuna and they all pretty ha they all have pretty much similar swings um if you if you look at them as far as the path of the swing that's all pretty similar and what Barry's big thing was, is his top hand, using the top hand, getting on, playing with the ball, and, um, you know, finishing after with that top hand. And Yelich does this over and over and over. And so if you want to do this, if you want to, you know, be like Yelich, just start working on that top hand. You can start with the T, and you hit with your top hand, try, hit line drives. Um, for intermediate level, you can do it off front flips. And for um, advanced level, you can do it off a machine. And so I know this because I've worked with Barry, and this is the stuff he talks about, using the top hand, um, finishing through with that top hand. If you can barrel the ball up with your top hand, just one hand on the bat, obviously choke up if you're using your regular bat. So you want to choke up so you don't hurt yourself. But if you're hitting the ball and, you're, and hitting line draws, with your top hand off a machine or off of flips what you'll notice is that you're going to basically get on path and take the barrel straight to the ball okay and you'll start seeing the ball hit so your head will stay on the ball you're going to use your backside and you're going to get on playing with the ball better so that's something i highly recommend you do all right well thank you guys for watching i'm out